Welcome to all my favorite things from the screen. My name is Dallas, and I go over some of my favorite things from TV and film and other media. I woke up to see that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer had been released. I started making a video breaking it down, got sidetracked down a rabbit hole of something more interesting. I noticed what appears to be a parallel between the most advanced part of the Quantum City and the Ten Rings currently in possession of Shang-Chi. Kang is a time traveler who often lives in spaces outside of time itself. This world he has built seems to get its power from something that may be related to the elemental power and aspects of space. The Space Stone gave its users powers over space, able to create portals from one part of the universe to another, shown to have a blue hue. This blue color is seen throughout this trailer, from the beacon that Cassie Lin creates to Kang's mask, his hover pad, and it looks to be what powers his army. The same blue hue on these gigantic rings in the quantum realm bear close resemblance to the markings on the Ten Rings. In the post credit scene for Shang-Chi, we find that the Ten Rings' origin, including its material makeup, was unknown to Wong, Carol, and Bruce. They only knew that they were much older than the thousand years or so that Wen Wu had them. Maybe the reason they couldn't find information about the origin of the Ten Rings is because they had not been created yet, because they came from the 40th century and were brought back in time by Kang, a variant, or someone else. They could very well be a weapon forged by Kang himself. Kang's battle armor that makes an appearance in the Quantumadia trailer is the primary source of his power. A genius level scientist, but still just a man. This armor helps him time travel and does a host of other things. Its mask, the least comic accurate part of his suit, seems like it's similar to Carol's visor and has that same blue color. I was worried that they would have Jonathan Majors wearing a mask, but I think this works much better. King's armor is made from neurokinetic alloy created in the future that responds to its user's thoughts. If the Ten Rings were made of this same alloy, it would explain how Shang-Chi, his father, and anyone else who wield the Ten Wings are able to control them. The alloy itself responding to their thoughts, moving to the wielder's wishes created in a place and time that until now the people of this universe know little about. The Ten Rings even had a tie-in to Miss Marvel and her bangle. We know that there are two bangles and that they were discovered by Kamala's great-grandmother in the ruins of a building that had the Ten Ring sigil on its floor. This same bangle allowed Kamala to go back in time, again a fundamental aspect of Kang traveling through time. Even more at the end of Miss Marvel, this same bangle might have done something that Kang's armor also does, create temporal divergences causing the two Marvels to swap places. The Quantumania trailer looks amazing and I look forward to seeing Kang in action even more to see his suit in action. But what do you guys think? Is it possible that the Ten Rings are made of a material from the future, possibly a neurokinetic alloy? Let me know your thoughts down below. My name is Dallas. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the Quantum Zone.